Welcome to the educational channel. This is the second episode of Unit 4. In this episode, we will talk or discuss grammar plus language function. Now, let's look at the episode agenda. In this episode, we will talk about indefinite articles, definite articles, correlative conjunctions, and subordinating conjunctions. Now, first, articles in English. Look at these sentences. He is doctor. Look at son. She is engineer. All these sentences have something missing. They are missing the English articles. There are two types of articles in English. These articles are used before countable now. There are indefinite articles and definite articles. For indefinite articles, we use a and an. For definite articles, we use the. Now, we use a, let's say the word begin with a consonant letter. So we use a. But in case of the, the word begins with a vowel, we use an. And the vowels are a, e, i, o, and you. Now, let's correct the sentences again. He is doctor. Notice the word doctor. At the beginning of this word, there's a consonant. So we put a. So let me read the sentence. He is a doctor. Now, look at sun. Look at the sun. This is the missing articles. And for the last one, she is engineer. And you can notice the beginning of this word begins, engineer begins with the e. And E is a vowel, so we should use an. Let's practice. This practice from student book page 36. Complete the sentences by adding a, an, or the where necessary. Number one, if I'm writing to, space, friend, I prefer letters. Notice we used a. Why we used a and I repeat? Because look at the word friend. It begins with consonant. Now, the second sentence. Just click, space, reply button on your mobile phone. We used the. Now, do it yourself, student book, page 36, exercise number one. We answered A and B. Now, what you have to do to answer the rest of the sentences. Now, correlative conjunctions. Correlative conjunctions are pairs of conjunctions that work together to coordinate two items. These items can be two adjectives, verbs, phrases, nouns, adverbs, etc. Now, both and. We use both and to join two things that are the same. Here's an example. Both Ahmed and Muhammad are tall. So we use both and to join two things that are the same, which are in this case, in this sentence, they are tall. She is both pretty and intelligent. Notice how we used both and. Now, we used either or to talk about a choice between two possibilities. Here's an example. I will study in either England or Scotland. Notice there's two possibilities. You can either study at home or at library. So also here there's two possibilities. I always tell my students either means one, neither means none. So either we said it means you have to choose between two possibilities. Now we have neither and nor. We use neither nor to join two negative ideas. Here's an example. I neither studied nor slept well yesterday. So he didn't do either. The essay was neither well written nor was it well outlined. So I repeat, either means one, Neither means none. Either you have to choose between two possibilities, neither, as you can see and read, to join negative ideas. Let's practice. This practice from workbook page 29. Expand the following sentences using either or neither nor or both and without changing their meaning. Now, A. For some reason, Ahmed and Walid's number aren't in my phone book. It's a negative idea. So the answer is, for some reason, 
neither Ahmed's nor Walid numbers are in my phone book. Notice how we added neither nor. Now, how about B? Samira and Selma started a degree in medicine last year. Both Samira and Selma started a degree in medicine last year. Now, do it yourself, workbook page 29, exercise 6. We answered A and B, and what we have to do now to answer C and D. Now, subordinating conjunctions. Subordinating conjunctions introduces a dependent clause and shows the nature of relationship among the independent clauses and the dependent clause. However, but, although, in spite of, they show contrast. Now, there are two types of clauses in English. Independent clause is a sentence that can stand on its own and dependent clause, a sentence that needs another sentence to have meaning. Here's an example. Although it was raining outside, he went to buy bread. Can you guess which one of them be independent, which means can stand by its own, and which one of them is dependent? No. Although it was raining outside, is dependent clause, which means it needs another sentence to have meaning. After the comma, look at the sentence, he went to buy bread. This sentence can stand by its own, so it's independent clause. And notice how we used although at the beginning of the sentence. It shows contrast, as we said. What are the differences between the subordinating conjunctions mentioned below? However, but, although, in spite of. Step by step. Now, let's begin with but. Similar to however, but it is more casual. We use it when we want to join two opposite ideas in one sentence. Usually comes after a comma. Here's an example. I want to stay up late, but I have an exam tomorrow. Notice, usually we use it after the comma. Oh. However, used when you want to say something different from what was said before. It is very formal. If it comes in the beginning of the sentence, it has to be followed by a comma. He is tall. However, he couldn't reach the box. Now, although... We put a comma after the dependent clause, not directly after although. Now, usually comes at the beginning of the sentence. If it comes in the middle of the sentence, it doesn't need to be followed by a comma. Here's an example. Although he is tall, and notice we didn't put the comma directly after although. We put the comma after the dependent clause. Now, although he is tall, he couldn't reach the box. He couldn't reach the box, although he is tall. Notice we didn't put the comma directly after although. Now, we have in spite of. It means even though. We use it before a verb, noun, or pronoun. If it comes at the beginning of the sentence, put a comma after the clause. You don't need a comma if it comes in the middle of the sentence. Here's an example. In spite of being tall, he couldn't reach the box. He couldn't reach the box in spite of being tall. And again, notice we didn't put the comma after, in spite of directly, after the independent clause or dependent clause. Let's practice. Student book page 36, exercise number four. Add the correct contrast word in the space provided. Now, look at the first sentence. We would love to stay for dinner, space, we have to go to get going. The answer is, but. How about the second one? They decided to stay in the area. Space, their problems with the local residents. I want you to guess the correct answer. If you guessed or answered in spite of, then you answered correctly. Now, how about C? There were many people, space, the hotels were not equipped to handle them. The answer is although. Now, language function. When answering a language function question, you must consider the following. Number one, what would you say in the following situation? Two, put yourself in the exact situation. Three, write a full grammatical sentence. Some students tend to agree, for example, by saying only okay. 
this is not acceptable answer by saying only okay. Now, I repeat, any reasonable answer is acceptable. So, your friend asks you about the characteristics of a good listener. If you remember in the previous episode, we talked about the characteristics of a good listener. One of the answers is, a good listener is able to read between the lines and not interrupt people while they, while they are speaking. And also, don't judge before you understand or comprehend the whole story. Plus, sometimes the listener tends to ask inappropriate questions. Sometimes they ask in the wrong timing. So be careful when asking a question. Plus, I repeat, don't judge before you comprehend the whole story. No. How about this? What would you say in the following situation? Your brother tells you that he wants to sell his phone. Imagine your brother comes to you and asks you or tell you that he wants to sell his phone. What would you say? You can agree or disagree. It's up to you. Now, here's an example. Selling your phone is not a good idea as your old information can still be recovered. This example you can answer by saying, why don't you try to fix your phone before you sell it? You can save money by fixing your phone. Now, in this episode, we looked at grammar, articles and definite, definite correlative conjunctions, subordinate conjunctions, and we looked at language function. Thank you for watching.